Looking at guys, so we're down in Saltash again today. Um, so this is gonna be just another short little video. Uh, so I haven't posted it in about a week or so, so I do apologize for that. Just I haven't really been out. I'm waiting for um, a new lens to come that I bought, um, which I'll do a video for, maybe like an unboxing video when when that finally turns up. So I'll do that there. So I've been waiting for that there really before I come out again. Um, but I was getting bored, so <laughs> decided to come out today. We come down to, as I said, down, this is Coombe Creek. This is just around the corner from Saltash Passage um, in Cornwall. So I'm gonna come down here, um, do a little bit of exploring. We're gonna go over to the bird hide again, but I think this time we're gonna go uh, through the woods and we're gonna go up to um, like St. Stephen's area. And then we're gonna go down to a little place called Weird Key which is a weird name. But um, yeah, we're gonna go down there. We've got some chances of stone chats, um, kestrels and skylarks, a few, a few things like that. So fingers crossed we actually see something today. Um, so yeah, so as I said, it's probably gonna be a short little video, but um, yeah, it is what it is until I get my new lens and then you know I'm gonna be going out a lot <laughs> and getting all, you know, doing all new videos and things like that with the new lens. So. Yeah, I mean, I've already got a really nice photo. It's a seagull, but um, I actually really like this one. Uh, as you can see, it's got its mouth like wide open. So I'm going to title it like "Say Ah" for that photo. Um, but yeah, so we're going to crack on down through through here now. See if there's any egrets down in the down in the back down the creek, and then we're going to uh, nip through the woods. See what we can see in there. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, now guys, so we're on our way down to Weird Key now. I thought there was a car behind me then. Um, we're going down a little little country road, so just gotta be um, aware of cars coming down through there. Um, I went through Coombe Woods, uh, got some really nice photos down there. Got long tail tit, which was within like within two meters of me, easy, just bopping around on the floor, around the flowers and stuff, getting some bugs. Um, obviously, with it being nesting season. Like the birds are just out and about getting uh, insects and things they got to take back to their babies. So, got some nice long death hits. Got a wren, um, some robins, blackbirds, all the little usual country wildlife woodland birds that you see out and about. Um, so yeah, so this is this is quite a long trek. Um, going down to the coastline down there, you can see it almost in the distance, um, which is where we're heading now. So. Get some nice landscape shots down there. There is also a navy ship, big, a big, big navy ship down there. So I'll get some photos of that. Um, hopefully, we got, as I said, we got a chance of uh, kestrels, um, stone chats, skylarks, things like that. So I'm really, really hoping we see some of those down there today. Um, what we're gonna do first, so we're gonna get down there, stop for some food, catch our, <laughs> catch our breath, because this is a long walk. Um, it's well, at least four miles, five mile walk from where we started. So it's a walk. Um, so yes, yeah, so we can head down there now, um, see what we can find. 
possibly head over to the other side of the beach as well because we've got flat rock down here where we're going and we're going over to the left so possibly hit both depending on our energy levels um, so yeah so wish us luck and catch you guys in a bit guys so we're at flat rock um, the beach is on the other side but I thought I'd do the recording here because it's mega windy over there um, so we're in this field here and literally we arrived and there was a kestrel right there so I was like oh got that shot so that was fantastic so straight away got that there um, didn't get a great shot at first because he was quite far away but uh, and we went down and sat on the beach, just having our food. And not just, not only did the kestrel fly over our heads, but so did uh, a group of buzzards. There was about three of them there all together. And we literally sat there on the beach and they flew right above us. So we got loads of pictures of the buzzards as well. So we got buzzards, we got kestrels. Um, so I can pretty much guarantee a kestrel at this place now, pretty much every time I've been here. So that's really awesome. There was also some, um, Oyster catcher down here when I first got here as well, so I got some oyster catcher photos. Um, all of these which I'll throw up for you on the screen. Um, I, would, I would have already put up the catcher on the buzzard or some of the catcher on the buzzard photos for you, so you would have seen them. So there was the oyster catcher photos as well. Got some in flight, which is fantastic. Um, oh look, oh, I don't know if you guys can see the catcher's back. Yeah, the catcher was back in the field just behind these plants over there. So yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, as I said, he's always here, this kestrel. Um, I haven't seen any skylark or anything like that yet, but I did manage to get, it's not a bird like my usual thing, but um, there was a butterfly that my dad could never ever photograph in his history of photography. Um, I'm not too sure the name of it. I'll probably Google it when I get home and put the, the breed of it in here. But it was the white butterfly with orange tips. Um, but you could never photograph it because this thing never lands. But one landed in front of me. So I was able to get down close to it and get some... I can see a couple over there now in the same same little bushy area. Um, so yeah, I managed to get some photos of the orange tipped butterfly. So I'll post them up for you now. It's literally right behind me here. So yeah, it's been a great day so far. Uh, we've only just arrived, so we're still going to walk around and, and see what we can capture. Um, so yeah, fantastic. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit.
right in the sunset. Buzzard footage and photography. Um, you know, that's like oyster catchers, and I even got my very first chip chaff, which I'll post up on the screen now for you. Beautiful little bird, stunning. Gets its name from the song that it sings. Chip chaff, chip chaff. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's been, as I said, it's been a stunning day. It's like blue skies and sunshine. It's really, really warm. Um, but yeah, it's getting a bit tired now. <laughs> it's been a long walk. So, so yeah, we're heading back. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's little video. As I said, it's only a, another short one, but um, I'm kind of waiting until I get the big lens before I do like another good photography, you know, good long photography trip. Um, I plan on hitting um, a bird hide first down uh, behind a local golf country club. So we're gonna hit that first. Um, and then uh, salt drum, maybe for the. Sorry, Carl. Yeah, maybe salt drum for the, um, the marshlands out there. Uh, just gotta, as I said, just gotta wait for it to turn up. Yeah, thank you all for, for watching. Um, as I said, I really hope you really hope you enjoyed today's video and all the photos and stuff that I've shared for you today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall catch you all in the next one.